Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a sort of like roundup of my favorite beauty products from the whole year of 2021. But instead of doing the whole thing where you pick like one favorite from each category, I'm doing like sort of a random mix of things, but just like the most standout products to me that I discovered this year that are like my favorite. So like I said, it's sort of a random mix of products, but I wanted to talk about like my all-time favorites instead of feeling the need to mention something in every category, I guess. Like I've always said in my past videos like this, these are not necessarily products that came out this year. They're just things that I discovered myself this year and like really kind of fell in love with this year. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this video. Before we get into it, I would love if you would consider subscribing down below and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And let's get into it. So let's start off and talk about some jewelry. You guys know I love Ana Luisa jewelry. I've talked about them several different times on my channel. I just mentioned them in my holiday gift guide video and that video wasn't sponsored, but they actually are sponsoring today's video. So I'm really excited because I love so many of their pieces. It's like the definition of my style in jewelry and they're actually doing a buy one, get one 60% off sale right now, which is really big. And I believe that today is the last day that you can order from the site and get it in time for Christmas with standard shipping. So if you've been eyeing some pieces or you wanna try something out, I would definitely recommend picking it up today. They have pieces starting at $39 and going up, but like I said, buy one, get one 60% off right now, really cuts down on the price. And I just think it's a really great deal. Um, I'll have the link down below in the description box. They are a carbon neutral and sustainable jewelry brand and they ship worldwide. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the pieces that I'm wearing today. I've talked about different pieces from them. You guys know the Rebecca necklace is one that I wear all the time. It's like my favorite go-to necklace, but I recently just got this niche necklace. I think that's what it's called. It matches these earrings, which the earrings are called the Dobby earrings, I think. So they have different names, but they match. It's like the same style, this gold with this like green gem in the middle. I'm not sure what it is, but I believe it's on the website and I'll try to put in close-ups of the jewelry so you guys can see it better. All their jewelry comes in these really cute little pouches that have like these magnetic clasps so it's really easy to close it's really nice um in here in this little pouch i have this really cool piece that it's something that you wear in one ear as like a statement piece and then you wear like your everyday jewelry on the other side it's called the sia link i think and it's just like this little like safety pin paper clip type piece that goes in the first piercing and then for the second piercing it just has like this very small little diamond so i think this looks absolutely stunning in your ears so i love this one and then with this necklace that i have on i also layered this just basic gold chain necklace and it came in a set of two so i have the other one in here i haven't taken it out of the package yet because it's very similar to this one. The design is just a little bit different, a little bit more simple, but I think this set of the gold chains is called the Heritage set. So definitely a great little layering option to have. I wanted to get some more layering pieces because most of my jewelry is a little bit more like statement or like things like this with a gem, but I wanted something that I can layer with my other pieces. So those are some of the more recent ones to my collection. You guys know though, I've talked about these Dobby little green earrings several times before i'm obsessed with them i talked about them in a favorites video i think that they're so pretty and i love that i now have the necklace to pair them with so anyways definitely check out Ana luisa it's linked in the description box thank you so much to them for working with me on this video it's always a pleasure so moving on to my other beauty products i think i'm gonna start with hair because i know that a lot of you guys are probably here for that and then we'll go into some body care and skincare and then maybe makeup at the end. I'm not going to talk about perfumes because I think I'm going to do a video on my fragrance channel talking about like my favorite perfume discoveries of 2021. So I don't feel like it's necessary to repeat myself, but I want to talk about the shampoo and conditioner that I'm actually surprised since this was a little bit of a more recent discovery that I'm so like obsessed with these. I just feel like they really rose to the top of my collection very quickly. These are the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Shampoo and Conditioner. The shampoo is very unique. It's definitely like a very thick product and you really have to break it down and sort of like mix water with it 
to get it to like become more emollient in your hands but it really really cleans the hair and that's what i love so much about this and then i feel like following it up with the conditioner it just adds the perfect amount of moisture and like leaves your hair feeling plump and juicy but not like over moisturized it's definitely not too thick of a conditioner but it's like the perfect amount of moisture and i really really love that set and then a couple of other ones these are not a set but I have this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Curl Care Shampoo. This is another shampoo that's really, really cleansing. I just love how, how much it lathers up and like cleans your scalp, but it doesn't strip your hair. That's one thing for me is I like a shampoo that really cleans my scalp, but I don't want it to strip my hair. So the other conditioner that I had to talk about is this Playa Supernatural. The writing is rubbed off on this because I've used it so much I'm almost out, but I also love the shampoo in this line, but it's a lot more of a lightweight everyday shampoo. And I didn't want to talk about a million products in this video. So this is the standout product for me. I just love the puddingy sort of like texture of this conditioner it's just like very enjoyable to use and really like does the job for giving my hair that moisture that it needs for styler type products my two standout leave-ins this year have been the heritage strength training leave-in conditioner pudding and the kinky curly not today leave-in slash detangler i love both of these they're both a little bit of a thicker leave-in i have other leave-ins that i really love that are more lightweight like the kristen s one or even the verb one is more lightweight than these but those were products that i discovered before and i'm trying to just talk about products that i discovered this year so a lot of my favorite products aren't in here just because i've talked about them in other videos or i didn't discover them in 2021 so these are the standouts for me for what I discovered in 2021. Like I said, they're both a little bit thicker, very moisturizing, but don't weigh your hair down. And I've used them a lot, a lot. And then both of the stylers that I have here are like jelly or gel type stylers because like I said, this is what I discovered this year that really stood out to me. You guys know the We Dad Out of Thin Hair Volumizing Jelly was like one of my favorite products this year. I didn't use it as much in the recent months because it is very light hold. And I would use this in conjunction with like more stronghold products. But lately I've been styling with fewer products. So I tend to go with something a little bit more stronghold, like just over top of my leave-in if that makes sense. But this is still a really good product that I love to like cocktail or just like pair with other stylers. It was definitely one of my favorites. Very interesting unique sort of like jelly product that is moisturizing and volumizing but not like super strong hold but still has some hold it's kind of hard to explain but the other one is the curl smith hydrosol flexi jelly this is becoming one of my favorite gels um this and the not your mother's curl talk gel are currently my two favorite gels they both have such good hold this one i feel like gives you a little bit more moisture almost while still having really good hold, which helps a lot with clumping. And so I've really, really been enjoying this one, but it is a little bit more pricey. So if you want something cheaper, check out the uh, Curl Talk one. Also this We Dad uh, Curl Shaper Reactivating Mist. I haven't talked about this a ton, but this is actually one of my go-to refreshing mists if I'm gonna refresh my hair like second day and I just wanna spray something in my hair and scrunch. This is like one of the ones that I use the most because it's lightweight and moisturizing. It's not like a salt spray or anything like that. It's just a nice moisturizing, like a defining spray that I can just spray throughout my hair when I want to refresh. So I wanted to mention that. And then for dry shampoo, this Playa Pure Dry Shampoo is probably my favorite discovery for dry shampoo this year. But unfortunately, the like sprayer on this is broken. That really... It really sucks when that happens with an aerosol because this is not a cheap product and it's still mostly full but i can't get any more out of it because the spray is broken or the nozzle is broken but that happens sometimes with aerosol cans so i can't like fault the brand necessarily it just kind of happens by chance but i would definitely repurchase this and then i think i only have two more hair products left i have to say honestly even though i loved so many hair oils this year and it was really, really hard to choose because I just love them equally. But I think if I had to choose a favorite of the one that I've used the most, it's probably gonna be my Pro's hair oil. I've used this one so much and I always grab for it because the packaging is just easy to use. It's nice and lightweight. It's not like too overwhelming of a smell, but it's nice. I don't know, it's just the perfect product for me. This is pretty pricey though, so I wouldn't say go for it if you're looking for something cheaper. There are alternatives out there. 
You guys have heard me talk about many oils, so I'm not going to go into that. But for me personally this year, I have to say that this is probably my most used, so I couldn't not mention it. And then for my favorite mask, I'm sure you guys are going to be able to guess, the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado Kiwi Mask. This was definitely the standout for me this year. It's just so moisturizing. It smells so good. It makes my hair clump together so beautifully. And turns out it turns out so defined when I'm done with my styling routine because this just gives it all the moisture it needs. I also really love my Shea Moisture like protein one, but I don't always want a mask with that much protein and that one I discovered also in past years. So for 2021, this is definitely my favorite mask. And then let's quickly talk about like the skincare and body care because I only have a few products in this category. I didn't have a ton of like things that blew me away this year because I feel like I have my go-tos that I've discovered before and I'm not always trying out as much new stuff in that category, I guess. But I do want to mention, this is very recent, but I already know I'm obsessed with it. The OGX Smoothing Coconut Coffee Scrub and Wash. Oh my word, what in the world? Like there have been some high-end body washes that have been on my list and I'm just taking them off because who needs it when you have this at the drugstore? Like this is so good. It smells literally like coconut coffee but sweet and warm and not like too strong or anything and then you get like these scrubby beads in here and it just like it's so nice to use i love warm scented things like this it just smells so delicious so i definitely recommend this if you like these types of scents and this is kind of like i said a scrub and wash in one i'm obsessed i would definitely repurchase this for deodorant uh my favorite is still native this is not a recent discovery. I've been using this for years, but I also did recently discover, this is very interesting, this Thai crystal deodorant stick. I got this on Amazon. It says world's best 100% natural deodorant. And then when you look at the ingredients, it literally just says mineral salt. And this is like a salt stick. Like it's not a product that like comes off on your skin really. It's just like like a rock, like a salt rock. I don't know. It's so weird, but I'm telling you guys this works. It's so crazy, but I only use this like right after I showered. If I get up in the morning and I just put on deodorant, I don't use this, but you put it on right after you shower, you rinse it like under the faucet and then you put like a ton on, like you rub it on your skin for like a good 30 seconds to a minute and it works. And it's so amazing because it's not like something that you go through quickly. It's really affordable. So I use this now in conjunction with my native one. I just use this one after I shower and then the native one like in between. Um, two skincare products. So I can't believe I'm not talking about more skincare, but I feel like I had too many different things that I liked and there wasn't like one specific moisturizer or one specific cleanser that stood out to me because I liked different ones. But for a mask, my standout is the Navi brand clay this is my friend's brand and she wasn't doing it for a while so you couldn't purchase the products because they were sold out but she recently opened up shop again and you can purchase these online i believe they're in stock right now this is just the red kaolin clay one and you mix this with water and it like dries on your skin and pulls everything out and i'm sure you guys know how a clay mask works but this is definitely my favorite love that and then i have a serum here this is the pharmacy filling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum this is so it smells like manuka honey it's so like smoothing on the skin and moisturizing and plumping like it really does plump the skin and i actually like to mix this with my moisturizer so this is a product that i will sometimes put on before moisturizer but a lot of the time i just mix in a pump with my moisturizer and it does such a beautiful job of just adding that extra hydration. So for me, this is like the standout serum for sure that I discovered this year. Even though, like I said, I have like different moisturizer moisturizers I use, but like this is the standout serum. So I think that's it besides makeup. So I have mostly lip products here and then I have a few other like random things. Let's get into the other products first. So I have this tinted moisturizer, the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infuse tinted moisturizer and this is like my most used face product when it comes to makeup this year i did a sponsored video with them in like way earlier this year in like february or something and i've been using this ever since like i i'm almost out of this and i need to get another bottle and i don't usually go through face products that fast 
because I have like different foundations and stuff that I use. So I usually switch back and forth, but I always reach for this one because it's so lightweight and light coverage, but you can build it up and it looks so natural on the skin. And I just love how it looks when I apply it with like my hands or a sponge. I don't love this with a brush, but with my hands or a sponge, I love how this looks. And like I said, I had to mention it because it's my most used like foundation type product from this year. And then for a powder, the Kosas Cloud Set. This one is in the shade Breezy, but I feel like it's a very like lightweight powder. So the shade isn't overly important. I definitely made a dent in this. It looks kind of light in the pan, but on my skin, it fits really well. This is the powder that a lot of people have been raving about this year. And I kind of got sucked into it. It's so natural on the skin. It doesn't look like you're wearing powder, but it sets things in place so that you're not all creasy and that's the thing for me is a lot of times when i try out a lightweight powder that isn't supposed to look powdery or too heavy it doesn't set my creases down like i have very creasy under eyes and that makeup will just sink into the fine lines but i feel like this is lightweight doesn't look powdery but also sets my under eyes so that the makeup doesn't just immediately sink into my fine lines which i really appreciate so it kind of does it all for me i would definitely repurchase this one and it is my most used face powder from this year before that i was using the rimmel rimmel stay matte which is way more affordable and i do love that one but i used it again recently and i was just surprised at how much more i love this one so process cloud set and then i do have a bronzer blush and highlight to talk about the nars laguna bronzer i have this little mini size i've been using this a ton when i use a powder bronzer it's just like the perfect tone for me and it blends out really nicely but i also really love my milk one which this i've discovered years ago it's not a new favorite but that's how <laughs> that's how you know that i have like go-to products i don't switch it up very much because this is the only one from this year that i feel like really stood out to me that i use it as much as or almost as much as the milk one i still use the milk one a little bit more but i use this one a lot too so my staples kind of stay the same but these are like my go-to's and then it's also sort of the same situation with blush i discovered the flower blush balm in cinnamon this year and i love the tone of this it blends out so beautifully on your skin and looks so just like dewy and fresh and I'm obsessed with this formula. I do wish though that it lasted a little bit longer like my ColourPop blush sticks does. This is in the shade Aloha. It's like a peachy color. I've talked about this many times. It's not a new one. It was like my old staple. I discovered it like a couple years ago. So these are like my favorite blushes. Just thought I would mention that, like which one I used before that because like I said, it doesn't change up very often. But I do also really love the blush balm. I just feel like the blush sticks from ColourPop lasts a little bit longer than the flower one although i love the way this looks on the skin and i love the shade and everything and then for highlight i actually have this auric glow lust it's called their radiant luminizer it's like a like a liquid or cream type of highlighting product but it doesn't look like super highlighting on the skin it looks very natural and dewy and just like a glow from within and this is a pricey product but this is like a luxury brand this is if you didn't know samantha ravindahl's brand this is just the type of product that i feel like i'm never gonna run out of this there is so much product in here and with this pump you have so much control you can get as little or as much as you want out of this pump you don't have to do like a full pump it's really really nice the packaging of this is just top notch it is like very luxurious and heavy duty and like this lid does not just fall off you have to pull it off it's not like hard to get off but you have to pull it off it doesn't like come off easily it's very just beautiful packaging in general and it's definitely worth the price to me because like i said i'm never gonna run out of this and this is like my favorite highlighter like it's not only my favorite from this year, but it's like my new go-to most used highlighting product. And I really rarely use anything else unless it's my Essence Pure Nude. Um, I just like something more natural these days. And this does such a beautiful job of making your skin look so dewy and like natural. And like I said, I'll never run out. So two eyebrow products and then we just have lips. So Milani Weekend Brow is like that brow flick pen type of product that is very very popular these days and i totally see why it gives you that natural like brow hair type of look 
So I've used this, whoop, <laughs> I've used this a lot this year. Very glad to have discovered it. I do still sometimes use my Anastasia brow pencil, but this is such a natural, beautiful look. So I reach for this a lot. And then for a tinted brow gel, the Merit one has been really, really nice. I just use the brown shade, probably my most used. I also like the Essence one, but I discovered that years ago. And that one can be almost like a little bit clumpy on the brows. This one is very smooth. It always like brushes through very evenly and just adds a little bit like a tint color to your eyebrows. So really love the Merit Tinted Brow Gel. And then like I said, I have a few different lip products here. I have two like clear glosses. The first one is not really a gloss. It's more of like a lip oil but it looks like a gloss on the lips. So this is the Young Living uh, Lip Lux, and oh my gosh, it's so incredible. It smells like essential oils because it's literally made with essential oils, and it goes on the lips. It's like a lip treatment and a gloss in one. It doesn't like taste gross. You don't have to be worried about getting it in your mouth. It leaves your lips feeling so moisturized, but also looking so glossy. And I feel like it is like, a, it's not sticky, but it, it's a little bit like tacky to where it stays on your lips. I don't feel like it disappears quickly, like how this next one does. The other one though, I do love this, but it does kind of come off easier. This is the Tower 28 Lip Jelly. This one is in the shade Chill, but it's literally just clear. It looks slightly like it has a pink tint in the tube, but it comes off onto your lips completely clear. Such a beautiful lightweight formula. It's, it, it is like a lip jelly. It's a lot lighter than the Young Living one, but it gives that same glossy finish to the lips. It just doesn't last quite as long, but it is cheaper and I really do love this one. It's definitely become a lot of people's favorites in the last year, so I had to mention that. Another formula that I really, really love is these Merit Lip Oils. I have the shade Falcon and the shade Pink Beet. Falcon is like a dark brown shade and Pink Beet is this like warm toned pinky shade. So I love both of them. I would love to get more colors though, but I just love the formula of this lip oil. It's very, very lightweight, but it's still gives you a nice color payoff without being too opaque. So I just feel like it's the perfect, perfect lip oil product. And then another sort of similar type of product is the Rare Beauty Liquid Balm, I think it's called. It's in the shade Nearly Neutral and it really does come off onto your lips like a liquid tinted balm. It's not like an oil in the way that the Merit ones are. It's a little bit more thick like a balm, but it still has that beautiful lightweight tint and these are just the types of lip products that I go for. I love them so much and this is what I reach for when I put a lip product on. I just don't really usually go for like an opaque lipstick unless it's a nude and it really depends on the mood but so i also really love this sephora melting lip click and this one is in the shade oh creme brulee and you just like click the bottom and it comes up and you get a little bit more product this is so gorgeous on the lips it's just like this very lightweight brownie nude tinted balmy type product it's so nice i've been using this a lot a lot i will even use this over like lipsticks just to sort of add like a balmy glossy look that's not an actual full-on gloss also by the way you guys i'm wearing this new lip product that i just picked up it's from fawn beauty if you guys watched my last video, I talked about Kitty Fawn and how I love her channel and I just picked up one of her glosses finally. So I put this on today, I might reapply it. This is from her Christmas collection. So it's in the shade Sugar Plum, Sugar Plum Princess and it's just a beautiful pinky sort of shade. It smells like vanilla. It's so glossy and it literally feels like a balm on the lips but it looks so just pretty and juicy and glossy. So I can't wait to keep trying this. It might be my next year's favorites. But yeah, definitely check out Fawn Beauty if you haven't. And the last product I have here is a lipstick. So I know I said I don't usually wear lipsticks, but this Bite Beauty Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick formula is so incredible. It's like, I don't go for matte lipsticks usually, but this is matte in a very comfortable way. This smells like vanilla play-doh it's so odd but i really love the smell of it honestly this is not my favorite shade ever it's in the shade sugar buns it's a pretty mauvey shade but it's not the type of shade that i reach for a lot so i'd love to get more shades in this lip formula 
I just don't love to spend the money on something that I don't wear this type of formula a ton, but I love it so much. And if you want a good lipstick formula, this is where it's at. It's so good. I definitely want to pick up more shades, like I said. I just haven't yet, but that's like the standout lip formula for me that I discovered this year as far as like lipsticks go. So anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for all the products that I had to talk about in like my 2021 beauty favorites. Definitely check out Ana Luisa, like I said, you guys. I honestly think jewelry is like one of the best gifts to get somebody in your life because who doesn't like jewelry? It's like a luxurious kind of gift to get somebody and they have fair prices and I'm just obsessed So I'll have them linked down below like I said, thank you so much you guys for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not already And I will see you all in my next one. Bye